everybody and welcome to Omiva Finance channel. My name is Sonine and today, hey, hey, Newfoundland and Labrador province nomination program is now open for you and for anyone that wants to go to Canada and work. Oh my God. If you are anything, doing anything in healthcare, because their own is very, very specific. They need teachers. They need healthcare assistants. And they, again, they need IT professionals. That is what they need. Uh oh Let me now go down. Semi unskilled. They need drivers. They need laborers. They need kitchen potters, uh, cook, chef, whatever. Hey. <laughs> Their own list is so, so long that I cannot finish it. Anything in construction, they need you. Newfound and Labrador is a home for artists, musicians in Canada. So, why would you go to this province? And why would you leave everything you're doing in Africa to migrate to this province? Like I'm saying... If you have everything going on in your home country, security, your future is promising. You wouldn't be traveling. You wouldn't be traveling. Most of us will stay back home. And most of us. But again, you have to make sure that what you are going there to do, it will give you a promising future that you know that you cannot get it from countries in Africa. Be it in Senegal, Guinea, Conakry, Uganda, Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Burundi, Malawi, Nigeria, Togo, Ghana, Congo, Morocco, Libya, South Sudan or Sudan. Anywhere you are in this, anywhere, anywhere you are in Africa. If you are alive, it's not all that... Um, the future of your children, you are not seeing it. And again, you are not, there are things you are not being like, you know, scary to you. Then you want to migrate to a place where you know that your, the future of your children, let me say the future of your children, because sometimes we parents, we take some decisions that will want, that will benefit our children, not even us. Because sometimes the circumstances of our life, we don't want it to repeat. We don't want a repeat of it where our children are. Okay, I have a family. I'm doing their location. One of the things the woman told me is that her, her son, their last son, actually, is autistic. That they have spent a lot of money in private school, like, you know, special needs children school. And they couldn't get any help. And that is why they are moving. So this was last year. And the difference in that boy, now they are in Northern Ireland. The difference in that boy is marv like you'll be shocked. So these are the, one of the reasons where parents... They don't even care whether the you know their own future will be put on hold for them to do things to make sure that their children. So in that situation, in that kind of situation, then parents have to move. And again, in so many other situations, there are people you know they studied some social work in Nigeria. Like I was saying yesterday, and I mentioned it because it was even from this my job that I know that UNN uh UNN as a university is have a social work course. You know, it was even in this my this thing. When the girl, the girl said she wants to go and do masters in social work. That's what she studied in Nigeria. I said, Nigeria, do we have social work? Because I've not heard of it when I was in Nigeria. I, I, I've not heard of it. So this is our country, we have all these things, but why are our government not utilizing it? Why are so many, many broken people? back home that social workers can fix them help them to integrate into the society with some help and guidance so something like that 
So we have all these things. We have all these like a, de a department teaching this course and we are not making use of it when they graduate. So it's, it's such like that, but in this, uh, 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 she's in UK now, she, she finished her master, she got a job. You see what I mean? So these are the reasons where people migrate. Somebody that is a software engineer went to Canada and told me that you only go to office once in a week. Once in a week. He works that fire and they give her everything and everything. He's actually in this province because they need IT technicians, anything IT. This province needed because it's a home for writers, musicians, industries, tech industry. So that is why this place is quite good. They have a very good big hospital. So you can see the healthcare system are good and everything. That's why nurses are needed, caregivers are needed. Aged population is happening to them. You know, when we talk of aged population, that's why we have caregivers. Because without aged population and vulnerable people in our society and people with special needs and all that, we will not have caregivers. But we have caregivers because of these people. So they need you as well. One thing you might ask in this NLPNP, which is Newfoundland, La, Newfoundland, Newfoundland, Labrado Province Nomination Program. One thing I want to make you, I want to make clear about this is that this open vacancies and open uh, uh, um, uh, uh, visa sponsorship that they have opened now. Don't say that maybe because they announced 11,000 that the vacancy will be open for you. No, 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 no. It will not be open for you. Like you will apply whenever you want. As I'm doing this video, there are thousands of people making application. So immediately you watch this, don't leave it any longer. Nobody's waiting for you. Don't leave it any longer. Just go and apply and see how far you, you go. And this, People are getting positive feedback. People are getting interviews already. People are getting this visa sponsorship. So if you're in Africa, your age is between 18 to 49 years, you are qualified to apply. There's no any, like whether you have degree or you don't have degree, you are welcome to apply in this NLPNP. You are welcome to apply. One thing again you might ask, what are the requirements? The requirements is still the same, but now if you are applying unskilled, you might not need, you don't need degree certificate. You only need secondary school. All of us, we wrote, most of us wrote WAIEC, like 90% of Africans wrote as, you know, did secondary school education that is enough degree they want that is enough now you might ask the english uh, for people uh, for people in skilled job like doctors nurses senior it uh, persons you know their own english will be okay but if the subject is taught in english that's why I said, when you are applying for these things, make it uh, um, in your personal statement. Add a line, a line there that all your courses and training were taught in English. Nobody, if you anything like this NLNP, they stated it clearly, which is on this screen, that anybody with english as their first language can apply if your first language our first language in nigeria and official language in nigeria is english yes it's english we might have a native language like even canada people that have native language which is french we can still apply because make it clearly that all your courses uh, and all your training was done in english there's no point 
going to write English, but I will always advise you to write English test, although it expires for some things sometimes. But when you get to Canada, if you've written it, when you go to Canada, you want to switch, then it becomes easy. So how can you apply? The website you need is in this screen. You go there and you apply. Then again, you might ask again, what are the requirements? Like I said before, it's on this screen and I have mentioned it, all the things you need. That, that in this NL, uh, PNP, there's no much needed. That is why, except people in professional courses, like people that did medicine, nursing, you know, they need to show, or pharmacists, they need to show their qualification and their, certific their certification. So, because these courses require them to have this kind of training and they have to prove that they have had it. That is why, but unskilled and semi-skilled, there's nothing like that. You only need your work. What are the unskilled jobs, like construction job, farm works, and uh, um, tourist, uh, tourism jobs? In the tourism job, it has to do with restaurant. It has to do with hotel management. It has to do with uh, housekeeping jobs. It has to do with a lot of things like administration, administrative roles and all that and customer service. That is all you need in that sector. They call it semi-skilled because obviously if you are a, 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 an administrator or if you are a housekeeping a, a house, you should know how to read and write because you are working in a well-established environment. But the farm workers, the, the construction workers and all that, you don't need anything like those qualifications you only need the training the certificate of the training you did that is no more than you will be you will be up to you will do that job in minimum of two years which i know most of you you know have done so that is why you need you need to check your your papers and all that because the minimum is two years work experience Okay, now you have finished and this, you're ready to look for job and all that. In this link here, I will attach the link that will take you to where you will see your N NOC code and WTP where you can bring your questions and we'll answer it. And we'll make sure that we'll, we'll help you and support you in that group to make the application easier. Because sometimes most of us have questions that we need to somebody to help us to answer. And again, it might delay your application. But once you are in that group, you ask, you ask questions and we respond to you instantly. And thank you for watching and thank you for sticking in this, uh, uh, sticking with me till this time. And I hope that many of you will put in your application any confession you know where to come, WTP. The link is in the comment section. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much and bye-bye.